Hey everyone, it's your soul and just got a quick video here as I'm trying to decode how to get more views on some of the videos that I'm putting online, noticing that what are fairly big news stories, I would say, comments that I'm making about them, which are pretty, pr contain pretty good evidence, let's say, that contradicts the mainstream narrative and even the alternative news narratives about, for example, Google censorship and some of the details of the Jeffrey Epstein case. Uh, you know, the evidence I'm putting out, I don't really think it can be rebutted, but no one's really looking at the videos, only a very small number of people. So I just thought I'd play around with seeing how I could get more eyes on, on these videos and thought to maybe try sharing the links to Reddit. Now, I know that Reddit basically is censored, but, you know, most people might not realise that. And so I thought I'd just do a little video here to explain some of how that works. Interestingly... Um, a website called vote.co, V-O-A-T dot C-O, came out a few years ago, which was kind of a clone of Reddit, which was as a result of Reddit being so censored and people wanted to move away and be uncensored. And actually, if you look at the leaked documents that came out from Project Veritas uh, from Google, you'll see that vote.co is on the, their blacklist. So Google is actually blocking vote.co, presumably because it doesn't play ball like Reddit does with censoring things. So... What I first did was post a link to my video about Google showing how Google basically are censoring stories uh, that expose Trump's potential mafia connections and so on. Uh, I, I posted that to the actual Google group on Reddit just as a joke really to see what would happen and immediately it was downvoted so that no one would see it. So you know that's kind of what I expected to happen but uh, then I had the idea of maybe posting it into DuckDuckGo, the subreddit Duck for DuckDuckGo on Reddit, because obviously my my piece is saying that DuckDuckGo is good. They're a good service, so the people in DuckDuckGo should probably like that I'm posting that. That was my thinking. I posted it into the subreddit for DuckDuckGo, and it got you know nine upvotes pretty quickly. People were liking it. Um, had this reply here, Google doesn't show anything negative about any party. Everyone knows this already. They also know it isn't a good thing. Um, so, you know, generally kind of uh, nothing putting down my post. But then we had this uh, kind of moderator comment. We like to keep the DuckDuckGo subreddit friendly and free of political discussion that risks leading to personal insults. We recommend our politics for anything related to politics. So I wrote back, how do you suggest comparing the censorship aspects of search engines when the topics tend to be political? Are you saying that you are unironically censoring discussion of censorship? Wink. And then the uh, thread was locked. So that's that. Shut down. So I thought, OK, well, I don't, you know, if that's how they want to run it, that's up to them. So I'll go and have a look in the politics subreddit and, and just post it in there and see what happens. So I tried to do that. And immediately it said this post has been locked because Eureka.org, which is my website, is not on the whitelist for domains accepted as for links into the politics subreddit. So basically they're automatically blacklisting everything that doesn't fall into their own listing for domains, much like Google is doing. So I thought, well, OK, well, I'll, I'll just get Eureka listed as an acceptable site. I mean, how hard could it be to be an accepted source for people to link to in a politics group? Uh, well, as it turns out, it's pretty hard. Um, this is the form they want you to fill in. And you basically have to choose one of these checkboxes here in order for, to submit the link. And they do say if you submit a link which they don't like, then your account can be banned as well. Uh, so basically, is the link a major print media publication, television new, uh, network or radio broadcaster? So is it mainstream media? No. OK. Is the source web news or media organisation regularly cited by or affiliated with other notable or reliable sources. So it's really the same kind of question as point one. Is it a mainstream media source? Uh, no. The source is recognised as influential or noteworthy within their sphere or political or sphere of political influence by other notable organisations. So that's a bit of an open question, isn't it? I could tick that and say, well organizations that are notable to me personally like what I do you could say that but the way that this is phrased gives me the impression that it's more from the perspective of the admins in other words do the notable organizations that the admins think are notable think that your website is notable um, 
which w would be no in my case because my site's very small compared to most sites. It's just not very well known. Ultimately, to get well known, you need to have a fairly big budget to get advertising on, on the web. And I don't have a big budget, so therefore I'm not well known. So therefore I can't check these boxes. Realistically, I could try that one, but um, yeah, I wouldn't really have high hopes of that working. The source has been historically noteworthy. Well, again, that's subjective, isn't it? But presumably, I mean, it's so open that that could mean anything. It could mean last week someone said it was noteworthy because it's historic, but I don't think that's really what they mean. They probably mean a source that was historically well known for some reason, something it did in the past, uh, to the point where it became well known, to the point where mainstream media would have probably covered it anyway. Or the source has produced work that was award-winning or given official acknowledgement by an authoritative organisation in their field. Well, what's an authoritative organisation in the field of muckraking and healing and balancing the world? Uh, we haven't really achieved success in those fields particularly and they generally get shut down, people doing that kind of thing. Uh, but no, I haven't won any awards for that kind of thing. So the source is recognised as a noteworthy or influential research organisation policy think tank or political advocacy group by an authoritative source. Well, what's an authoritative source? What's authority? I mean, that's the debatable thing, isn't it? I mean, everyone's their own authority. So, but again, if it was that simple, they wouldn't have put this in here, would they? Because, you know, if I say, well, I'm an authority on X, Y, Z thing, and I say this is a good sign, it's my site, you can say, well, no, no, you know, we, we mean another authoritative source that we say is authoritative. There's no other real interpretation of it if this checklist has any meaning, I would say. But The source is part of a government agency or body. No, the source is or it is directly affiliated with a recognised political party. No. So there you go. I mean, it's fairly straightforward, isn't it? I don't even want to waste my time trying to apply to get my domain whitelisted. Maybe I should, but I don't think it's going to work because it's fairly clear that they, they're locking this down so that it's mainstream sources, political parties and groups who are kind of okay with them. So that basically means that I can't even discuss how great DuckDuckGo is for not having any censorship problems in in Reddit, in any of the meaningful places where even the DuckDuckGo admins want me to do it. Unless maybe I post my content to another site which I don't know what their whitelist includes, but maybe there's I could possibly I could find their whitelist and possibly I could get my post on there and then link to that. But what's the point? It's just a way of centralizing traffic and domain authority ultimately, because Google works on domain authority. The searches, uh, if you're trying to compete with a site on Google for a certain search term, even if your page is much better than another site's page on the same subject, that other site might write, rank better if they've got higher domain authority. And domain authority basically just means other high ranking domains point to you. So if you've got it, basically, it's just a way of centralizing power and um, traffic on the Internet. And the way that this is being laid out fully plays into that and fully empowers empire builders who are already big names and disempowers everyone else. And that's Reddit. So I can tell you that, you know, I have a bit more success on vote, but vote is blocked in Google. So, <laughs> um you know, it really is the case that the combination of Reddit and Google, they're working hand in hand, whether deliberately or not, to separate out controversial, what they call controversial viewpoints from their narrative, ultimately, which is censorship. I mean, there's no two ways about that. And they have traffic levels that are sufficient to mean that they basically therefore control over 50 percent, I would say, of the Internet's traffic, something like that. Maybe combined with Facebook anyway, at least probably two thirds combined with Facebook. Um, so this is a very dangerous situation if you think about it. If people are only relying on Google and Facebook for their information, which a lot of people do, then they are automatically being censored and they're not really achieving anything more than they would have done just from watching mainstream news. That's the point we've reached pretty much. So, um, yeah, once again, please do subscribe, like, upvote, reblog, resteam, share everything that you like that I've put out. And you can find me on YouTube, Steam, Steam Peak, Eureka.org, Twitter, and so on, Minds.com. And yeah, let's please uh, do what we can to support alternative services that aren't so creepy and controlling and destructive to freedom and free will, which these groups obviously are, whilst claiming to be authoritative experts and so on. Um, you know, 
freedom is valuable and if we don't carefully respect it and build it then we lose it peace